Brian here with you. Welcome in to my office. We're sitting at my desk now and we're going to look at this very nice annual called Biblis 1923. It's in an original marbled paper card cover portfolio like so that has some splitting along the cloth uh, spine uh, uh, and the um, joint there but uh, it's still intact and it is composed here of four of these issues uh, seasonally. So there's spring there and summer, fall, and winter like so. There we are. And each one of these uh, is issued loose like this with all of the signatures and text leaves uh, unglued as issued and the reason for that is because it is an art periodical, a limited edition here, uh, and it is full of images and prints intended for removal. Uh, they are original like this one here, uh, and so this is an original woodblock right there with an article about the artist. Here's one here. Yeah, that's an original etching, and it appears to be signed in the, at the bottom corner, and there's this. I think it's worth, uh, on this publication, uh, me showing you, going through each issue, so that you can see the contents, because to talk about it uh, doesn't really do it full justice versus actually flipping through it um, to see for yourself what's inside, because when you do see it, you realize it is very nice and words do not do it justice. And they also have like a uh, bibliographic compilation here of this uh, Maurice Aschener's uh, artworks and the different prints that he did with the dates and so on. So it's a, like a bit of a catalog raisonné or a bibliographic accounting. Here's the second one of the season. You'll notice that these are all fresh and clean uh, internally, uh, they are complete issues, and it was issued only for a handful of years. Uh, we have just like maybe I think three or four other annual uh, years of this publication that we will be cataloging soon, but we're going to start with this first one and do the entire year as opposed to, there's a nice uh, Roger Kipling uh, Jungle Book, uh, custom leather binding right there. Uh, the paper's handmade. There we are. These are very nice. It shows the different colors of the blocks, the two block colors that were printed separately, then printed together right here. Wood block. It looks like a linoleum print, perhaps. Uh, it's no doubt described within the text. There's a lovely original etching there. Okay title page, a very nice title page actually. Okay, a little colophon right there. That's the second one. Okay, there we are. Here's the third issue of the year. And there we are. It's autumn. There, that's a very nice etching. Okay, there's that. Wow, that's really something like anthropomorphic sort of fantasy image there. That's a nice original etching. Oh, there's a very nice chromolithographed reproduction of what appears to be a medieval Christian image. Dragon Gargoyle, Fantastic Beast. Wow, that's very nice. Wow, that's a wood block, colored wood block, multiple blocks, no doubt, with each one a different color. These are original works of art that are found within here. Pierre Guzman, a catalog raisonné of some type there. And the final issue in this portfolio uh, of four uh, is this. And here we have, there's an original etching of a woodworker 
or some sort of craftsman. There's a couple reproductions, line reproductions. And there we are. Engraver on wood and printer. Okay. The French Society of Engraving. Wow. Beautifully printed. Nice. It's almost a mezzotint face. Yes, yeah, very rich and soft tonality on that. Very nice. Ah, oh, there's a nice early, looks like a 14, late 1400s woodblock image. Oh, there we are. Renoir. Yes, Renoir. Okay. Ah, original woodblock of Le Breton. It's kind of nice. And we're coming to the end of this one. Oh, yes, a type specimen leaf. And so, you've seen the contents. Uh, we think they're all complete. Uh, it's exceedingly difficult to collate this. So you've seen everything that's within them. Whatever is here, you've seen. Uh, and it is available now as uh, a one book, a one annual uh, compendium. Uh, available online now from me, Brian DeMambro.